Hi, welcome to the wonderful world of arm knitting. I'll be knitting an arm blanket and I will be using Burnett brand yarn. It's 32 yards. And when I make my blankets, I use six of these. Um, I call them a volley yarn, but in the knitting world, I guess they call them skins or skeins or skines. I don't know. But anyway, I use six of these, 32 yards. First thing you want to do is make sure that you use the bathroom um, because once you get started, you're not going to be able to stop because you're going to have an arm full of blanket, arm full of blanket, and whatever. It's, it's going to be everywhere. So make sure you use the bathroom first. And if you have incontinence, don't take any chances. So make sure that you wash your body too, especially if you're making it for somebody else. Because you don't want to give anybody a blanket, gift them with a blanket, and they got your dead skin scales, skin cells all over it. Your, your dirtiness because you need to take a bath. So make sure you do that. Um, I have made oops. Where's my yarn? Okay. There we go. Here's my yarn. Okay. Anyway, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to make a tail. This tail is going to be used at the end of the video. So you're going to have, you're going to stretch it out eight times, one arm length. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll help if you take notes um, of what you do because if it doesn't turn out right, you can uh, write notes and See whatever you can do to correct it next time you make it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and twist it. That's it. Well, that's not it, but there's more. Once you twist it, you're going to take the working end. This is the working yarn. And you're just going to slip it through. And you have your slip knot. Okay? You want the, the whole, the loop to be able to fit on your arm. You don't want to make it too tight, but you do want to have a little, little space here because of the fact that if you make it too tight, it's going to uh, stop your circulation. And if you're alone, everybody else here that's in video land is going to be making blankets while you're on the other hand going to be laid out waiting to be rescued because you made it too tight. So now you have your tail over here. And you have the working yarn here. First thing you'll do, you're going to take your thumb and your pinky, and you're going to you're going to grab the two. This tail is on my pinky, just so you know. Okay, the working yarn is on my thumb. So here you go. Oh, this reminds me of that little game. You know the game with all the yarn you put on your fingers and you draw all this silly stuff. Yeah, that's what it just reminded me of. Okay, just think of that. Anywho, so you have your pinky and you have your thumb. The thumb, like I said, is a working yarn. I hope this does not look confusing. But you're going to have your four little, four things hanging out. So you're going to take your jazz hand. You're going to slip it underneath the working yarn. It's actually still attached to the ball, okay? So you take your hand. Slip under, bypass this one, the second yarn, and you're just going to go straight to the third one. Lift and pull. That's it. I'm going to do it again so you can see what I'm doing. And you're going to make sure that whenever you do it, you're going to keep this down here. This right here is actually called casting. So you're going to see a cast on your hand, on your arm, okay? Again, thumb on a working yarn, and then you have your pinky on the tail. Pull it up, jazz hand underneath the first loop. You're gonna go over the second loop, you're gonna bypass that one, and you're gonna pick up on the third and drop and pull. See, there you go. So you're making your chain again. This is like the hardest part. Mm -hmm. 
Dang it, it's getting tangled. No, it wasn't. Okay. Skin, thumb, pinky, get your little four little yarns, jazz hand underneath the first loop, bypass the second one, put it on, why don't you go to the third, lift, and pull. So depending on the size of your, well, the length, or in the width, of your arm determines like how many loops you want to do. I'm going to go for 17 because that's what I've been doing every time I make it. And I'm gonna count them. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. But I'm going for 17. Like I said, keep this little train, this little thing here on the bottom, okay? Again, which one does your thumb get? The working yarn. And your pinky, the tail. Here we go. Underneath, way down, why don't you? And underneath, and pull. Over there. The thumb. With the working and the pinky with the tail. Again, jazz hand under, wait on, why don't you? Third and lift. Different material will work differently, of course. 100% um, acrylic. I love that, but that thing is like, it sheds like you wouldn't believe. Thumb gets the working yarn, Oops. the pinky, the tail. Jazz hand, under, way down, why don't you? And the third. And pull it on down. Like I said, you wanna make sure you have some leeway. You don't want it too tight, cutting off your circulation. And plus, when you start transferring it too. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, wait a minute, hold up. Did I count it right? Shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. All right. All right, Linda from Bob's Burgers. All right. <laughs> All right, so I have my 17. Now that that's done, let me give some more. One of the things I do is when I get towards the end of a ball, I pull out the other end, the tail, see if I can find it. And right now I can't, so I'm just gonna skip that. Let that hang over there. Now the next thing we have to do is we're gonna start moving all of these loops to this side. Oh yeah. Okay, so you see this is looking like a cast, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna leave that tail alone. <laughs> Like your mom will be telling um telling the bro the boys, leave that tail alone. Or get your little fast tail in this house. Okay. I'm back. Leave the tail alone. <laughs> You're gonna take the working yarn. You see, you wanna take your hand here. You're gonna hold on to it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the first loop off the top and you're just gonna slide it off. That's it. And put on the arm. That is it. Same thing. You want all you're doing is removing all of these loops and putting them on this arm. We're done with the tail, so don't get it mixed up. You can take the loop and slide it off. That's it. Put on your arm. See? You think you're bad now, don't you? Yeah, you do.
Take a deep, 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 deep. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm not tightening it up. <laughs> but you can tighten it up as you go along. Don't make a mistake I just made. Okay. Anyway, you want to take the tail. Don't get it mixed up with the, I mean, take the working yarn. Don't mix up with the other tail. It might try to sneak over on you. Tail. Loop and slide. Working yarn. Loop and slide. The working yarn. Loop. And slide. The working yarn. Loop and slide. Working yarn. Loop and slide. Working yarn. Loop and slide. The working yarn. Loop and slide. The working yarn. Loop. And slide. Working yarn. Let me just slide all these down. Loop, slide. Working yarn. Loop and sl loop, slide. Working yarn. Loop and slide. Working yarn. Loop and slide. Working yarn. Loop and slide. What? Jazz hands in effect. Yeah. All right. So you're just going to do the same thing. And you see the little hang time here? We're getting there. Well, we got a long way to go, depending on how many balls you have. Alrighty then. Um, darling. Hello, my dear. Okay, when you have the youth walk around with their little earbuds in the ear, even though as a parent you tell them repeatedly, one out so that they can hear you and they don't. It's annoying. <sighs> Moving on, working yarn, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> oops, hold up, working yarn, loop and slide, working yarn, loop and slide, working yarn, and loop and slide. Working yarn and loop and slide. Working yarn, loop and slide. See, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm making it so loose. It's okay if you tighten it, but um, again, I didn't do it. Working yarn, loop and slide. Working yarn, loop and slide. Working yarn and loop. And slide, working yarn, and loop 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 and slide, 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 working yarn, and loop and slide. Working yarn and loop and slide. Working yarn. Oh, where you at? Working yarn. Loop and slide. Working yarn and loop and slide. Yeah. Alrighty. Now, again, I didn't tighten it up as I was going. But it's still going to be a nice blanket, and it's just for me. So, there. How about them apples? All right, so you're going to continue doing this. You're actually, if you didn't use the bathroom like I told you to, 
you actually okay because you just have to take this and this right here and you can get up and go potty or if you have to get up or yell at some kids you know get you behind over here get over here you know depending on what your household is doing at the time i'm going to go and i'm going to finish all of these um i'm going to put on my little streaming thingy watch a little tv show but before i do that i'm going to show you how you connect the other ones while i'm waiting on my thingy because i can't find my tail i'm just going to unravel this whole ball the rest of it <laughs> As my blanket starts to grow, one of my dogs, I could only make a blanket is like if my kids are home because I always have to call them for help because my one dog likes to jump on it as I'm making it. <laughs> He's annoying, but I love him. I love them both. I love my fur babies. Yeah, he knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> He's looking at me. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, the end of that ball and I'm gonna grab another ball of yarn. Or like I said, they call it skins, or skine, skein, I don't know. And it's simple. All you're doing is tying it in a knot. And sometimes when you buy this yarn, you'll see like some imperfections, but don't worry about it. It's like sometimes there's a knotted or what other imp imp um, imperfections. Anyway, just a simple knot. Tie it in a knot. Make sure it's good and tight. But be careful that you, you know, you're not so strong and you just sit up there and snap it apart because it can happen. Once you tighten it up, just snip off the little tails. Hey, Eric. Can you turn the fan on, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. The fan, son. The fan. Thank you. So it's nice and tight. So we already know what to do. And I will be back, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, now that we're all done, now when we had the clip on it, um, we made this like seven, remember we counted off, it was like uh, seven armlets, so it's okay if it climbed up, it's okay, you just finish off your arm, okay? Not a big deal, we made it extra long just in case, now we're going to take it off our arm. If you ever played with those weaving loom kits when you were a kid, or adults like me, <laughs> you'll, um, it'll come easy for you when it comes to taking all of this off your arm, okay? So, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna do two loops only. So we got one, and we have two. So now what we're gonna do is take this one, the first one, and take it off your arm. We're gonna do it again. Take a loop, me put it on your arm, and then take it off. Okay. Take the tail. Same thing. Make your stitch, and then take it off. Make your stitch, and take it off. Make your stitch. And take it off and don't make it tight <laughs> because um, well it's okay if you make it tight you'll um, you'll learn okay it's okay to make mistakes I made plenty in my life 
take your loop, slip it on there, take it, take it off. There you go. But if you make it too tight, it'll be um, one skinny end. <laughs> I did that with one of the blankets, my first one. <laughs> Make a stitch and loop it off. So I see this is an easy thing here. All you need is a little shower. Don't drink any fluids. If you got incontinence, you want to, you know, definitely don't drink anything. Unless, well, anyway, ain't gonna go there. Now, it looks like my tail is coming to an end. It's okay. It's okay. We'll work with it. I guess I, um, maybe I could have tightened mine up a little more because I only got this left. Or, and see, because it's coming up short and I have four loops left, um, like for me to take notes, I'll say instead of doing um, seven um, arm lengths, I could do like a couple of more, you know, for next time. Or try to make this in a little tighter, like make it a little snug. But anyway, it's for me. It's not for anyone. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little sad that it is shorter. <laughs> but what I have done before ah, what I the last uh, when I had first did this is what I did was I took my little itty bitty tail and I just tied this in a knot I just tied them all together because you know hey I'm sorry y'all can't see me shimmy so I just ended up tying this together so that it doesn't um, lock up. I mean, come loose. So, if you were smarter <laughs> and you have plenty left over, only thing you're really going to do is just tie this in a knot. If I had mine longer, it would still end up being in a knot. But instead of it looking like a braid, like this part is, it's going to look like this, like all jacked up. <laughs> so just tie it in a way where it's not going to come loose. And that's it. So my blanket is not flawless. But you know how to do it for yourself. And you can perfect it. I bet the best one that I make will be the ones that I make for the dogs. And then tie it off. I mean, cut it off. Now, for the other end, see, this is the. And believe it or not, even though these blankets have all of these holes, it is so warm and comfortable. Didn't understand how, so I Googled it. <laughs> I Googled it to find out why and how. Now, what I could have done, what I should have done, didn't even think about it till now, is because this end right here, because this tail here is so long. Yeah, you just said it. All I had to do was just cut it off, attach it, and then finish my end. But I didn't even think about that. Anywho, so same thing. But um, what you can do, and this is what we would have done on the other end if I was, uh, if I made it long enough, is that you take in the tail. Now either Either you can tie it off like I just did on the other side, or you can just weave it. That's 
by my end. What is it? Okay. I'm feeling a little discombobulated right now. You take it. And like I said, you can weave it in. Just pick it in a loop. It don't matter. All you're doing is just closing it off. Just stick it in the loop. Just in and out, in and out. Okay. It's in here. And you just weave it all the way through until you get to the end and then tie it off. That's the bottom line. You just don't want it to unravel. But what I'm going to do because it is so long. Where are you? I'm not gonna do all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for this. For me, I'm just going to snip it. Come up with some kind of project for these extra stuff left over that I got from all my blankets. And just tie it off. Again, it does not matter how you tie it off. You just don't want it to unravel. So, and one of the things is like, um, if you make multiple blankets, one of the things that's cool is um, trying to beat your time. And I judge it by how many shows I end up watching. <laughs> okay, so here's the finished product. Knocking everything down. Ah, I finally got my own blanket. I made everybody else one except for me. Okay, it's so big. <laughs> anyway, have fun. All right, all right, all right. So we're down to one little ball here. Anyone has to go to the bathroom yet? So on the last ball, I un I like to unravel it. <clears throat> I'm holding on to this right here, but I unravel it. There's a reason. Maybe I should have unraveled it first before I started. Let me click play. The reason I'm unraveling it is to make a tail. So we're going to count out. Mm, we're going to count out five. Five half arms. I mean, one arm. I have one arm length. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty
two, three, four, oops, five. Let's do seven just in case. Six and seven. Now I counted out seven. And just, I'm using my little hair clip just so I can know where my mark is, which is here. And I'm going to leave that on the side. And then once I get to that mark, we'll see what's next. 